Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. What is OIG GSA Exclusion List? The OIG GSA Exclusion List is quite the mouthful, isn't it? Let's break it down. OIG stands for Office of Inspector General, and GSA refers to the General Services Administration. Still with me? Great. The Exclusion List, also known as the List of Parties Excluded from Federal Procurement and Non-Procurement Programs, is essentially a blacklist. It's a list of individuals and entities that are prohibited from receiving federal contracts, certain subcontracts, and certain types of federal financial and non-financial assistance and benefits. Now, you might be thinking, what would get someone on this list? Well, reasons can range from violations of federal laws, to failure to pay taxes, or even involvement in terrorism. It's serious business. So, if you're a federal contractor, or a business looking to work with the government, you'll want to make sure you're not on this list. And if you're a federal agency, you'll want to check this list before awarding a contract or assistance. In essence, the OIG GSA exclusion list is like the bouncer at the club of federal contracts and assistance. It's there to ensure that only the reputable and law-abiding get to party with federal dollars. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.